before I get into shipbuilding, just want to wish everyone well during this coronavirus pandemic. And I suppose one good thing about working on a bottle ship, it can give you something to do when you need to stay indoors for a while. So uh, hopefully we can all get through this okay. Hang in there and maybe building a ship could cheer you up a little bit. So let me show you what I've accomplished since our last visit. The thing that I'm working on now is it's kind of like a table. I'm not sure if you should refer to it as a table, but it's on the mizzen mast in the same area as the captain's quarters. So it's below the top deck. It basically will go together like this. This part with the lines across it According to my instructions was J10, but I had already taken it apart. It's easy to identify because of the markings. And then H11 and H12, and they they actually look like uh, nuts. They're octagon shaped. And what I'm going to do is put it together on this piece of scrap dowel rod. This is a quarter inch dowel rod. The next critical piece are H13 and they're quite small. Okay, I've got these first two pieces on here. So what I've been doing is putting a very small amount of glue which will go on the larger the top. I need to make sure I do not get it on the dowel rod. Well that just slipped off. Sorry my hands in the way. Okay. There you can see. So I'm going to do that all the way around and then I hope, well then I'll glue this on the base, and then I'm hoping I can just slide that off of this dowel rod. I did sand off some of the dowel rod to make it so it will slip on and off easier. Okay, I'm down to the last piece. And I determined it's easier to put the glue on the upper part. And then I can slide this into place. Maybe if I do it from this side you can see better. I'm trying to put the underneath side on first. There it is. So it'll set right just like that. Well, let's get this in place. Here it is complete. Still don't know if I can get it off of that dowel rod, but I did get it in place pretty well. For those of you that are following along as far as building the Black Pearl, I want to document some parts. J1 through 3, these are the crow's nests and their corresponding parts that fit on those. So each one matches. So those I have in there. And then some of the, I believe what will be supports, J10, 11, and 12, and you can tell they're different sized, so obviously the larger goes on the, on the largest one. And then um, I10, 11, and 12, 12 I already have on the ship, but these are what join the, the masts together as it goes up. So this base piece is J1. I think this is probably F1. This will get glued on here. Then the supports for this crow's nest, this is the largest one, are going to be J4 and J7. Okay, 
so you can see how that will go together. Then the, um, the mast will go through here. J10, which are these parts, will... I haven't determined exactly how yet, but these will also support on the mast. I'll figure that out later when I put it on. But that's how those go together, and then you just go down the line. J5 uh, and 8, J6 and J9. Here are the parts pre-assembled, and this will be for the larger mass down to the smallest. And then here's the platforms with the grating put in. I've got the crow's nest in place, and you can see the framing. And just to give her a reference point, this is the rounded edge. The smaller braces go uh, vertically to the edge of the rounded face, and then the wider gap you can see here. And to give you a reference, the um, those two braces that go up against the wood pretty much go right to the flat back edge, and there's a little space right there. Then these supports. Uh, you can see the part that goes out goes just to catch where the uh, upper mast would be. So I could have actually lowered this upper mast a little more, but in the photographs that I saw, it, it didn't come down into that pocket there. But it could have, and it would have give, given more to glue to. I ended up, I did not flatten this surface. It was, uh, I just decided not to do it. What I'm doing now is wrapping some rope at two inch increments, so there'll be six, and this is the main mast. This starts um, just above deck a little bit, and I'll show you when I mount it on the ship. And then I put, you can't quite see it, but I put a little mark every two inches and that will put six of these wrapped rope coils on the main mast. So I've put just a little dot every two inches. And then I've just been putting a little glue. Just to get it started. So I get it around here. And then I can just spin the mast. I don't have the exact count, but it's approximately 10 revolutions. So it's right at one centimeter. And I need to do about one more wrap. So put a little glue. Doesn't take much. It's there. Actually, I should have started the glue sooner because now I have a little um, excess. But if you get to it quickly enough. It'll wipe off. So there'll be a total of six. Last one will be about two inches down from the crow's nest. Here's the completed mast. You might also notice I put cannonballs beside the cannons. I may put a frame around those. I haven't decided yet. For those, I use BBs. The ones that were supplied with the kit were much too large. The BBs are still a little bit oversized, but much better. So here's how the roping looks, and like I said, they're about two inches apart.